In the previous episode of Creepy Middle-Aged Man hey. Acts Like a Child on they Children's me, App. They call me, they call me, He's back, guys. He's actually back. I'm five foot eight. I weigh ten stone two. I've got a really small pelvis. And he's almost bigger than ever. I guess he is bigger than ever. I don't know how many followers he had before he was all deleted. Little news update. While this video was being recorded, our friend Paul was deleted from TikTok. Paul Breach is back, baby. Let's get a round of applause for Paul Breach. Woo! It's creepy. He's worse than ever. Oh, okay. The allegations weren't enough to get rid of him. He's actually back and he has 900,000 followers and millions of views per video. As if he never lost his original account in the first place. Well, that sounds terrible then. After his account was originally deleted for the allegations and all the videos that came out about him, my boy was not ready to give up. He was accused of grooming, being creepy towards girls under the age of 18, and allegedly getting a girl uh, pregnant uh, when she was 17 and he was 27, which was like 45 years ago. Because no one knows how old Paul Breach is. It's all lies. It is weird that you can't find his real age. The most information you can find is that people say that he died at the age of 43. Super creepy stuff, not illegal, mind you, but it doesn't matter. You can still be creepy and weird and unethical and morally wrong and still be well within the lines of the laws. Look at every politician ever. Ah, uh, isn't this nice? It's just one of those days you gotta just get out and give the old wrinkle skin some sun rays. This is so lame, Joe. That was the point a lot of people tried to make from my last video is that it's not, it's not illegal. The age of consent is 16. Dude, I don't care what the age of consent is. I shouldn't have said that. I do care what the age of consent is. It doesn't matter though, at a certain point, if the gap is large enough, it's weird, bro. It's weird, it's really creepy, and it's really weird. If you like rewind someone's life to the point where they were at the age of, of consent and the other person in the relationship doesn't actually exist, in that rewind, that's too much, I feel like. Like if they're not even real. Yeah, illegal, whatever. I'm not the police or a fed, even though I do have new fed hat merch at oompa.shop. TikTok thought enough red flags were raised to delete his original account, okay? And violated TOS, whatever he did. It, his, his original account is gone. Paul himself blames the deletion on a TikTok creator, Boo, hey guys, who Boo. made um, a bunch of content about him being a groomer, which is fair, I guess. Paul Breach guy who is all over everyone's FYP. Um, snapshot eye, beauty on the eye. This is a, not a new thing. The dude's been around doing weird shit for a long time. So what's Paul been up to? Why is there an update video? Well, he's back. All right, guys, he's back, and he's weirder than ever. A lot of crazy stuff has happened. The magnifying glass of the internet has come down upon this man's life because of the nature of his content and the nature of all the accusations and allegations around him. And a bunch of interesting stuff has come out. What's he up to now? Back to singing and dancing, that's for damn sure. He can't give that up, that's his passion. He's like the Charlie Chaplin of our of our generation. Although I do wish he had that mustache. That would be even funnier. Accidentally put it in her booty, I was drunk, she like. Oh, she like oh yes, that's pretty funny. He is so orange. He reminds me of a crustacean. In light of everything we know, that's a really bizarre thing to decide to do. I mean, like get a PR guy or something, Paul. Get a PR guy or something, man, come on. I love this dude. He looks like he's always trying to do multiple things at once. Last time we checked on Paul too, he was no longer on Cameo. He had all of his stuff disabled and wasn't taking orders, but now he's back. He's got a lot of positive ratings too. It's pretty crazy. I guess they just don't let good ones. I don't know. Should I buy one of these? You can message him. <laughs> you can get groomed for $4. I'm the guy that says hi at the end of messages so the conversation never ends. I want to do personalized messages for you, for your loved ones, for your friends, for your family. On it that way, we are never, ever, ever doing that again. Dude is literally made famous by allegations and is like capitalizing heavily off of it. Somehow he still has an audience. It's crazy. I'm gonna buy one from him for sure. I need a pep talk, man. I just got scammed recently. I was scammed. I need motivation to continue pursuing my dreams. I have been trying to start a business with a friend for a long time and I was scam now the feds are are involved and i am trying to find the will to continue help me pull 
all things considered, it seems like Paul's doing fairly well, okay? And he's figured out how to manage this hate and negative attention. How has he done that? Well, he just turns his comment sections off. Nobody can criticize or joke on you if you if there's no way for, for you to see what they're saying about you. Just keep dancing, just keep doing the lives, just keep on keep on talking to people that you're not supposed to be talking to. That, and making yourself seem like a real weird, weird guy. So much cringe still, too. Like, he has no idea that this all ties into his self-belief that he has this squirmy ability to avoid all the negative consequences of his actions just manifests itself in a massive ego too his head is so big check this out so that's just it we're done it's over she said she doesn't like he's you funny this, i mean she this is funny here. she says she's she comedy someone else. tell me who so i can break their jaw Derek, i think no, that... no tell me who so i can beat the living shit out Derek, of i don't think no that... tell me who so i can whip i mean his head look at it, it's gotten to him guys the dude thinks very highly of himself you can tell by these like, crazy crazy wacky stuff. dancing um, videos here's him with the to be honest, glamour filter percent apart from maybe a lips the eyes there just maybe all of it but you know i won't tell if you don't tell um, I'm going to be told off and moaned at for enticing people now, aren't I? But, yeah. Hey, maybe we'll book him for that surgery. I think, uh... He looks really bad. Yeah. Hi. He says hi at the end of all this, all the sentences, so the conversation never ends. All right, Garth Brooks, what is wrong with you? I will say he is hot, though. That was, he was pretty hot in that video. Right, guys? No! Let's get a round of applause for Paul Breach. What a hot bitch! Apparently Paul's got a, a partner now as well, and he's with someone? I don't even know. He cuts them off, and like, you can't, let's just check it. Little TikTok collab. This is a 45-year-old man. Brent Rivera. <laughs> home. I home, he Obama. Did this. He did Hello, this Millie. It's me, Paul, the guy from TikTok, and my personality, my voice coming out your ears today, right now, as you listen. That tends to be how it works. This is a message from David to you from me. Paul's managed to keep it going this far, guys. He's managed to take a nuke, essentially, the the internet cancellation version of a nuke, and still come out on top, still be able to make content, still be relevant somehow, all right? And by sacrificing that typing sort of parasocial attention that you get by allowing comments and interaction, he thinks he's able to completely avoid all criticism, but man, the digital footprint's too high, big to hide from. <laughs> Paul, you can't, you can't escape it. You can't escape it, man. And what boggles my mind is how anyone could see him and feel bad or how this can still be turned into a positive thing. For example, he's like I mentioned, he's got a bit of a lady friend. Jesus, that the bitch is back. I was in a two on two on the uptown. She's basically just female Paul Breach, in all honesty. Her TikTok is the same as his. It's all the same memes, chalky walky. It's, it's the same thing as Paul Breach. The comments are all turned off. Cause you think of guys Cause you think of you and you You think you're crazy cause you are I just turned bright red like a bee Her comments turned off, Paul's comments turned off She even uh, made her Instagram private So there's not really any way to know who she is Or what she does and who really cares any Anyways, her name's Sophie, she's just Paul Bridges Stockholm Syndrome girlfriend or something I'm not even exactly sure I don't even know if it's his girlfriend, it's just someone Probably taking advantage of the clout that Paul has Cause he's clout, I mean he is clouded up That's what I'm doing, I'm taking advantage of his clout but and just because I think he's a freak and, and he, um, you know, I'm kind of scared that his existence on the internet is just allowed to roam free and run. Dude's still up to the same shit as well, as always. You know, he's grabbing his nuts. He's 43. Grabbing your nuts, bro. One of the most interesting things to me is the fact that, so he has everything, all comments are disabled, but now he, 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 he plays into the the meme that he's into young people. Check this clip out. Someone asked him to play a song that basically exposes him. Careful, Paul, your mask is slipping. Oh, that was boring. That was boring. Uh, boring. That's a boring song. See what you did there. Make your so mind up. It. Make your mind up, guys. He gets the joke. Make your mind up. I thought we were after uni students. Make your fucking mind up. He's after uni I thought students. I was after uni surgeons. Oh, I can't fucking keep up. I can't keep up. Not little girls. You a long students. list of people that I'm after. I don't fucking know. So many. There's fucking so many. It's fucking hard work. Weird. Kind of ironic. Very bizarre, though. There's a little more a little more cringe him admitting that there's a 17 year old i mean dude the 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 it never stops you 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 obviously told me that she was like 17 but like yeah and like you told me she was 17 so i believe it because it comes from your mouth i've got nothing to hide there's also that 
Just part of that part as well. Just a little funny, funny bit. Not only is he still doing that, he's also still doing this, apparently. Did your dad just walk in? <gasps> this time in the morning. Oh, saucy time. Let's... Keep it in the family, Maya. Keep it in the family. You're doing well. <laughs> British of him. Very, very, very British of him. Very gross, man. How is he still here? How is he still here? They, they did it once and now it's like, all right, let's just ignore him now. Let's say he's coming back. Let's just go ahead and ignore him. He turned the comments off. Everyone will forget. We can just ignore him now, guys. The TikTok overlords have blessed Paul. He's got a million followers again. What? Maybe it's because all the original stuff has already been addressed. I don't know exactly. TikTok doesn't care. They're not an investigative group. All right. He hasn't done really anything too worrisome lately. It's just strange, creepy, weird, cringe stuff like normal. It's mind boggling to me that he's still around, still doing basically the exact same stuff and just adding to it. He's more self-aware of it now. He just he memes it more. He, the dude sees the negative attention. He sees like, he's probably seen my video. He's seen people talking about him. In fact, he even talked about his, th he gave his thoughts on the big accounts talking about him like me. All right, guys, this is Paul's official response to Oompaville. How can like a massive, massive, massive account on lots of social media platforms be doing a deep dive on me, a research into me for a week or so, but not actually spoken to me? But you don't need me in that research you will use let me think stuff you've read or researched on the internet if you've typed it into a computer you've never spoken to me you don't even know me like most people who've spoken about me don't have a clue he just kind of rambles on in this whole thing and it's just like people don't know me people don't know me you don't know me i just you just typed it in the internet you. sure man yeah there's a lot of weird stuff that's uh that's happened involving you for sure and a lot of it's probably not true, but uh, you know, if any of it, even any, do do you think you're, do you think you don't deserve any hate at all? I feel like this is just kind of a non-response. Just what are you talking about? Just what do you? I mean, like, what is, what does that mean? What are you saying? Dude doesn't understand digital footprint. Dude doesn't understand that that you can just look up old videos that he made on the internet, like this one. They call me. Yes. And right after that video of his big response or whatever. It must not be that serious. His next, he's just back to his antics, lip syncing and dancing. I love his dances. They're so good. 40, 40 years old. People hate Paul, man. People hate Paul. People hate Paul. I get it. He's very, very, very creepy. He doesn't actually ever truly address anything. He just says things just aren't true with no evidence, no receipts, nothing like that. He doesn't try to exonerate himself. He just avoids drama shoulders into it and then says things aren't true and doesn't give any sort of reasoning why which is he's bold i mean he doesn't Lie care me to the moon let me play amongst the stars let me see what earth is like from jupiter or mars no thank you but Paul. first of all let there be love it's confession time i'm gonna answer the accusations here we go yes I do put Rolos in the fridge. I think he's a comedian. What do you guys think? Anyways, what's my opinion? I think Paul's a fool. I think he's an old man. He's really creepy. And I think he'll die a meme that was just known to talk to children on the internet who had, you know, somehow self-awareness and simultaneously no self-awareness at all. He brought nothing positive to the world. He danced. He cried. He laughed. And had a really, really, really good time. The end. For real though, Paul, if you want to come to America and you want to come to Texas, I will interview you if you want. You know, I don't care. We can get to the bottom of this if you want, dude. Come on, Paul. Come on, Paul. I'll be friendly. I won't be mean.